Burnaby Lougheed. Madam Speaker, Mr. Paul Yu was a sea captain back in China with a degree in business administration. Today, Paul is a British Columbian eagerly pursuing his dreams to become a marine superintendent or perhaps even start his own business one day. And his first step to doing that is studying English at Camosun. Paul says that it's at Camosun he gets the professional language training that he needs to not only become a better adapted citizen in his new home country, Canada, but he gets the necessary prerequisite that he needs for his specialized career program. So it is disheartening to see Paul here in the precinct along with 300 others today away from their families on their own time and dime to fight for access to vital English training that people like my parents and I myself depended on. And there are over 2,200 students and 100 faculty at PCC alone, many of whom are my colleagues and students who will be devastated by this government's inaction. So my question through you, um, Madam Speaker, will the Minister of Advanced Education please explain how is it possible that this government can always find money for their friends like ex-liberal MLA ben, Mr. Ben Stewart, $2,400 for his Chinese lessons, yet continue to tell 9,000 British Columbians like Mr. Paul Yu, tough luck. <laughs> Minister of Advanced Education. Well, Madam Speaker, there is certainly no shortage of, of uh, federal programs that the member opposite would suggest that the province of BC and the taxpayers of BC should pay for, Madam Speaker. There's no shortage of federal programs that the members opposite they can grow money on their magic NDP money tree and suggest that British Columbia residents should be paying for it, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, this, this side of the House, this side of the House... Members. Madam Speaker, this side of the House is absolutely committed, and you've heard it a number of times before, to growing a strong economy, Madam Speaker. That side of the House continues to oppose it. In fact, it, it took leadership of the member from, from Oak Bay to lead all these individuals here to oppose LNG, Madam Speaker. That's what this side stands for, Madam Speaker. 